Hey everybody, I am going to do a pour on this 12 by 12 inch canvas, um, similar to video 477, um, which took off like gangbusters, um, has a ton of views, and I thought I would revisit that technique. Um, that one used really, really bright colors, so I'm going to use some more muted colors on this one. And so let me get my, there we go, my camera adjusted. Hang on. There we go. And I will walk around. Let me put on my gloves and we'll get started. So this is a swipe and I will use a straw. And let me get for swipes. I just like to use the cardboard that comes with the canvas <laughs> because it's free and it's recycling. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to use, this is a mix of Grumbacher turquoise and Artist Loft Metallic turquoise. Uh, there's only a little bit left in both, so I mixed them together. This is a mix of Grumbacher Prussian Blue and Liquitex Basic Payne's Gray, plus a little bit of iridescent medium. And this is the iridescent medium I use. And this is copper. Um, I do not remember which brand. This is Liquitex Basic Alizarin. And this is Grumbacher Gold plus, I believe it's Grumbacher Naples Yellow. So I put those together. Quick shake shake. All right. So what I'm going to do is flood the canvas first with white. And I actually had to look back at the video to see what I had done um, because I've done a bunch of different swipe techniques with silicone and I couldn't remember which one this was. So I will start, I'll make the little tiny silicone cup. Don't even need, well, I might. I'll just put a little bit more. And then I use Spot on Treadmill Silicone, which is in the Amazon link. I think that was three. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. Stir, stir. And we'll set that aside. And I love these bamboo sticks. Those are also on my Amazon list. I'm not sure if there's enough white in here to cover this whole canvas. I sure hope so. Whoa, yes, I believe there will be. <laughs> oh, there's a... Mmm, chunks. And I would show you that painting, but it is in my gallery exhibit right now, which I take down on um, Thursday the 31st. There are lots of little bits of gunk because it is the end of that jar. So those are the old, oh my gosh, but there is a lot. But that's just because it's the, as I said, it's the end of the jar. There's nothing wrong with the paint or the um, 
Floetrol, it's just older paint. areas that it missed. Quick torch to get the bubbles out. <laughs> All right. And I will just be using the same bamboo stick for all the colors, which is the nice thing about these bamboo sticks. Uh, they wipe off so clean you can reuse them. off even better if you have a clean paper towel. Go figure. Right, so now for the Prussian blue slash Payne's gray. And the gold, Naples yellow gold. And you can see I used the same stick the whole time and none of the colors bled onto it. So now for the silicone. I did this, I did like an outline of it in the other one, but I may do that a little different.
the other way. Alright. And now for the straw. Wow, these colors turned out way more pastel than I thought, but maybe that's because I put the white um, over the top of them, that could be. See where I'm at. I do love these colors though. So you can see all of the cells now. I really am shocked at how light it got though. So I'm just going to blow them out more. But I think the main part I think I'm pretty good with the middle. Back to center, try and get those cells to come back to a somewhat roundish shape. again bringing it back and I'm actually tilting it a little bit up towards your direction
little teeny weeny bald spot right there. I like that blue, but there's none other that's that dark, so it looks a little weird. if I would like it better. there is a difference between the two sides. No, I'm not going to get rid of that side. I'm going to leave that. This side has more straw look, and these have, ah, oops. This one has more. I love, 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 love the colors. to make things more even. In my eyes anyways. <laughs> Step away and look.
going to do something here because of those bubbles. I really like it. I really, really do. Touch up some of these sides. Paint already dried on the sides. fast. <laughs> Paint dries so fast. Make sure there's no bald spots. All these divots are from the silicone, but um, will go away once it's dry which makes looking at it kind of difficult to know if you're actually seeing something. But I think I just saw... Yeah, there's a piece of something. And another piece of something. Make sure there's no more Paint goobers in that. There does not appear to be. Yay! So I'm going to very carefully remove you. Well, it is quite obvious I need to stop reaching over. <laughs> to get you down because I turn you off every single time. But I love these colors. They did turn out softer than I expected, but they turned out even more beautiful than I imagined they would. I said that silicone glare or wet paint glare in general makes it hard to see. But I am really, really excited about this one. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Here's just a final glance at the colors that I used and I'll catch you again. Bye.